this video, we will talk about the next dividend payouts. And the data that we have here is as of Feb 13, 2024. And dividends are coming. Can you type in below? Dividends are coming. The stocks that we will talk about here are companies that will give out stocks in the next week. So make sure to take down notes, write it in your calendars, in your reminders, because dividends are coming. Also, again, for you to be entitled with the dividends, make sure that you have ownership of the stock before the X date. X date? <laughs> X date? And sakto, no, February, pinag-uusapan natin yung X at yung date. <laughs> and alam naman natin, di ba, pagka naging X sa relationship, pwede ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, normally, kakalimutan mo na. Pero dito, sa dividends, kahit February pa yan, ito yung kailangan tandaan, yung X date. Kasi yan yung date na rinirelease ng mga companies na sasabihin, okay, sige, yung company na to, maglalabas ng stocks, and ito yung X date. And, Ite take note mo yung X date. So, example, kung yung dividend ay yung X date niya is Feb 25, yung X date, dapat hawak mo na yung stocks or nabili mo na ng stocks ay at least before the X date. So, at least Feb 24. It doesn't matter kung binili mo ng Feb 20, 21, 24, basta dapat hawak mo na yung stocks or you have ownership of the stocks before the X date. Hindi on the day ng X date, kahit umaga mo pa binili, and definitely hindi after. For you to be entitled of the dividend, it needs to be before. Okay? Yan yung X na kailan tandaan, X date. Yan yung take note for the dividends. Okay. So, if you are new, dividends are derived from the earnings of the company. Nagkakaroon ng dividend kasi may excess profit na instead na i-reinvest sa expansion or sa mga ibang projects, the management, the directors, they decided na sige, ibigay natin sa shareholders kasi extra profit naman. Yun yung ibibigay na money, yung dividends. And also, it's a good indicator that, okay, okay tong company nito, no? Nagbibigay siya ng dividends. Oh, so it means profitable siya. I mean, syempre, generally speaking, bakit naman magbibigay ang mga kumpanya ng money or dividends to their shareholders kung hindi kumikita masyado or nalulugi. So, okay, it's a good thing to take note because it gives you a better footing that you know that the company that you are buying is something that is good. Kasi nga, nagbibigay nga ng dividends. Again, like what I've said, hindi lang siya good itong mga dividends but it can also give passive income without having the need to speculate or hope that the price will go up. Hindi to chismisan pagka sinabi may dividend at legit source sinabi, okay, ito yung ex date ng dividend ng kumpanya na to Sure yun. Hindi, hindi, hindi yun yung parang chismis na talaga ba pang bibigay kahit sinabi na ito yung date na magbibigay. Pagka official and may ex date na release hindi na siya speculation, hindi siya hope na, oy sana ano ha, yung pangako nilang dividend ibigay talaga. It would really happen. So that is good, no? that you have ownership of the stock and also you can have dividends. Kasi if you are new, uh, the ways for you to earn in the stock market is una, capital appreciation. Ibig sabihin nun, yung stock mo, nabili mo siya ng mas mababang presyo and at a certain time, nag-appreciate yung price niya. So in, nabili mo, let's say, 10 pesos, tapos at a certain time, naging 12 pesos. So, nagkaroon ng appreciation. Tumaas yung presyo, nag-12 pesos siya at binenta mo. And yung variance na yun, yung 12 pesos, minus 10 pesos, 2 pesos, yun yung kita mo per stock. So, capital appreciation. Pero syempre, on the flip side, kung <laughs> binili mo yung price ng 10 pesos, binenta mo ng 9 or 8, lugi ka dun. But again, it's the method we're in, pwede kong kumita ng stocks, capital appreciation. Second is, hindi lang sa capital appreciation, where you can earn is, regardless of the stock price, sa dividends is extra cash coming in sa'yo. Okay? So, kaya exciting tong dividends ato kasi it's like passive earning. Hawak mo lang yung stock, and then pagka 
nag-announce sila na sige, merong merong dividends na ibibigay, hawak mo lang. Kahit one time mo lang siya bilhin at hawak-hawak mo, hindi mo kailangan buy in, buy, buy, sell, buy, sell. Hawak mo lang siya, tuloy-tuloy lang yung dividends. Okay. Also, if you are new, just like what I've said, diba, the, this is literally passive income for life. As long as hawak mo siya, hindi mo binibenta yung binili mong stock, you will get dividends pag kami announcement. And sinabi ko kanina, no, as long as the company is doing well and have a lot of excess, hindi lagi magbibigay ng dividends. Kaya it's good that you do your own research na may mga companies na nagbibigay ng mga dividends. And what we are doing here in this channel, yes, this is just a reference for you, a starting point na pag-aralan mo. Hindi ibig sabihin na, okay, sige ha, ito yung mga stocks na nagbibigay ng dividends, auto-buy na yun or bibili mo na agad. You need to study it, do your own diligence. The more you study it, the greater the conviction na hindi ka na masisway sa iba na, uy, ganito daw, okay. Kung baga kung inaral mo, alam mo sa sarili mo, it is good. And yung money mo, it will work hard for you because you will have additional funds through dividends. Okay. Ito yung unang stock natin. FB. FB. Hindi ito yung FB na meta yung sa US. But FB, San Miguel uh, Food and Beverage. And the type of dividend is cash. 0.45 pesos yung makukuha na dividend. Yung X date niyan is Feb 15, 2024. Yung payment date niyan is May ay March 1, 2024. So kung nabili mo siya before Feb 15, let's say Feb 14 mo binigay, sakto Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then makukuha mo yung dividends ng March 1. Doon sa account mo. So, if you have an online account, makikita mo doon may extra cash ka because of that dividend. Ito rin. Let's say, Neil, edi okay pala yan. Uh, bili ako dividend, tapos pwede ko ba i-bent agad o baka kailangan may lock-in period kasi kumita ako, nagka-dividend. It doesn't matter. Basta pagka na bili, nahawak mo yung stock yun sa X date and then lumipas na, nag-Feb 16, pwede mo nang i they will still give you the dividends. Hindi mo kailangan hintayin yung payout date para ma-receive yung dividend. The dividend yield, yung TTM, uh, 3.2% yung dividend yield. Without special dividends yan. Ah. When we say TTM, ano ba yung TTM? Uh, yung TTM, ito yung uh, trail lining 12 months. TTM, trail line, lining 12 months. And kasi yung basis nito kaya nga TTM 12 months. So yan yung period na yung sa, sa dividend yield na ibibigay in that period in 12 months. Okay. And then without special dividends. So ready na ba tayo for the next stock? Okay. Binuluga natin ng first FB. No? So if you are ready pala, si type in, comment below. We're ready for, for the stocks. Okay. Okay, next. Stock is RCR. And the type of dividend is cash. Amount per stock is 0 0.098 pesos. And your X date is Feb 19, 2024. Payment date is Feb 29, 2024. Dividend yield without special dividends is 7.1%. Okay, that's 7.1%. Next, P rates. The dividend that they will give is cash. The amount per uh, stock that you hold is, yung makukuha mong dividend is 0 0.0388 pesos. Yung X date is just like the same, yung kanina, Feb 19, 2024. The payment date, kung kailan mo makukuha, yung fund is March 12, 2024. Dividend yield, TTM without special dividends is 8.38%. Okay, we, we are talking about dividends, no? Tapos may special, may uh, regular dividends. Yung special dividends, ito yung on top of the normal dividends. Okay, okay. so GLOW or GLOBE. Type ng dividend is cash. 25 pesos yung ibibigay per stock. And then uh, at least yung X date nito is 20, uh, Feb 2024. So you need to hold the globe stock before Feb 2024. And then the payment date is March 7, 2024. Dividend yield without special dividends is 5.75%. Okay. So alam mo, no, yung globe, 
every time na ginagamit mo or user ka, ay, okay ito, no? Hindi lang ako nabibigyan ng mobile data, pero if I hold the stock as a shareholder, it can also lead to dividends. Next, uh, CAT or CAT type of dividend is cash and is 6.44 pesos. Yung uh, X date is Feb 21, 2024 and payment date is Feb 29, 2024. Sa leap year pa talaga, no? Yung makukuha. And leap year is every four years. So, doon mo makukuha yung payment. Okay. SPC. Yung dividend naman na to, the type of dividend is cash and the amount that you will get is 0.6 pesos. X date, yung, again, yung tatandaan natin is Feb 21, 2024. Payment date, you will get it. Leap year again, Feb 29, 2024. Our dividend yield here is 8.38%. So, ang galing, no? That the, the stock that you have, you will get passive earnings because by virtue of holding that stock and the company because somehow it's doing well, meron kang dividend yield. Okay, next. A and B. Type of dividend nito, makukuha mo is cash and it's 20 pesos. Yung X date is Feb 20, 22, 2024. The payment date is March 1, 2024. Dividend yield, 7.4%. Okay. And may A and A din. Same lang yan. A and A, A and B. But magkaibang stocks yan. Meron lang silang A and meron silang B. Same then type of dividend is cash. The amount of uh, dividend that they will give is 17.8325 pesos. X date to be remembered is Feb 22, 2024. Payment date is March 1, 2024. Dividend yield without special dividends is 6.76%. Of course, yun yung A's and A, yan yung A's and B. So, pili na lang kayo kung anong A's and gusto nyo. Kung yung B ba, which it has 7.4%. And then, itong A's and A, 6.76%. Okay, next. TCB2D. The type of dividend here is cash. Uh, amounting to 0.968825 pesos. Ayan, daming decimals niyan. Talagang, I need to make sure na tama yung nababasa ko sa screen natin. Payment date is March 14, 2024. Dividend yield... 7.86%. So, itong TC, uh, B2D, meron din yan TCB2C. Okay. Uh, the type of dividend that it will give is cash amounting to 0.8233 pesos. Payment date will be March 14, 2024. Dividend yield Without special dividends is 6.72%. Sana na-excite kayo, no? At least nagkakaroon tayo ng options instead na yung pera natin ay nasa bangko. Meron mga stocks na aside sa capital appreciation, merong dividends that you can get pa. O, oh, di ba? Again, I hope that you are learning from this channel. Comment below. Uh, ano yung mga stocks na parang, hmm, parang gusto ko to bilhin before its X date. Okay, tuloy na natin. PRF 3B. Ayan, cash din yung dividend nito. It's 17 pesos, 0.84575 pesos. Yung X date, again, you know, leap year, ah. Talagang favorite yata nila yung leap year, eh, no? Uh, Feb 29, 2024. Payment date is March 25, 2024. Dividend yield is 7.07%. Okay. Next naman is PRF 3A. The type of dividend is cash amounting to 17.17825 pesos. X date, Feb 29, 2024. Leap year ulit. And then payment date is March 25, 2024. Dividend yield is 7.01%. Next. ALC PC type of dividend is cash amount is 1.7319 pesos. Ang tanong, Neil, bakit ano parang 'di ba normally ginagamit natin sa in peso normally two decimals lang 'di ba? Oh, 1.73 pwedeng i-round off, pwedeng i-round up depende. Pero dahil nga pagka vinolume mo 'yan, magkakaroon ng it will matter kasi yung mga mahabang mga decimal do Siyempre, kung nasa millions yung mga ini-invest mo or baka billions, talagang magkakaroon ng variance 
makikita mo yung difference. Ayan. Kaya, what they want, mas precise, yan yung saktong dividend that they, that they will give. Hindi two digits, mas mahaba pa. Eh, yan yung gusto nilang ishare. Para mas specific yung sa computation. 1.73, 1.7319 pesos. Dividend yield, 6.8%. Okay. I hope that you learned some stocks na, okay, ito pala may dividends na binibigay. Again, if you are new, please do note that in this channel, we are trying to at least have yung mga stocks, mga companies that give 5% dividend yield. Not bad, eh, no? Because if yung nasa banko, at least traditional banks, yung interest nga, nakukuha mo per annum, 0.25% or sometimes 0.10%. Eto, di ba? Aralin mo lang, mag-research ka lang. You can have not just the opportunity to earn capital appreciation sa stocks, but also dividends, passive earning. And we are at least doing our research here and compiling and giving you at least nasa 5% yung dividend yield. Uulitin ko, hindi ibig sabihin na we mentioned the stock here. It is something na auto-buy ka. You need to do your own research. You need to do your own diligence. Napaka-important yun. And if you are new, at least I want to also explain the relationship in terms of the price and then the dividend yield. Kasi ito, ito. Ito, na, sinulat ko sa slides to eh. Please also remember that the lower the price you buy, the stock the higher your dividend yield. Okay. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Sinabi, pag yung stock mo, mas mababa, nabili mo ang presyo, tumataas yung dividend yield. O parang tinagalog ko lang. Pero bibigay ako ng example. For simplicity, for comparison, let's say you have two stocks. Company, stock A, stock, stock B. Okay? Stock A, stock B. And para mas simple, makita talaga natin yung palo ng dividend yield. Yung variance ng dividend yield. Yung pagtaas, pagbaba ng dividend yield is gawin natin yung dividend in peso yung makukuha sa both company A and company B ay pareho lang. Let's say piso, 1 peso. And then yung stock price ni company A, stock price company, uh, stock A is 10 pesos. Stock, stock uh, number 2 is 20 pesos. Okay. So, ulitin ko, oh, para mas ma-explain ko, two stocks, para ma-compare natin, yung first stock, 10 peso, yung price, second stock, 20 pesos. Pareho silang piso, piso ang dividends. Okay? So, dahil nga, gusto natin ma-compute yung dividend yield and yung relationship in its price, so that one peso divided by the stock price, kung magkano siya nabili. So, 1 divided by 10, that's 10%. So, that's 10% dividend yield. O, tandaan nyo yung number nyo, yun, 10%. So, punta tayo sa second stock na example natin. Nabili mo siya ng 20 pesos. Pero, yung in peso mo makukuha sa example natin, 1 peso din. So, yung computation to get the dividend yield is 1 divided by 20. And that's 5%. Anong mas mataas na dividend yield? Yung sa una, kasi 10%. Eh. Dito, sa second one, it's just 5%. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung kikitain mong dividend. Dahil sa 10 piso mo, meron ka ng piso. Dito ka sa company number 2, kailangan pa magkaroon ng 20 pesos para magkaroon ng piso. So, yun yung relationship. And I hope I explained it well. So, tuloy natin. So, in our slides, again, we need to really study it. You need to really study it to have greater conviction so that when everything is low and everyone is scared, hindi, napag-aralan ko to. Napag-aralan ko to. Okay. Next video. In our next video, I hope that you will also watch it so that you can learn. We will now be talking about the top dividend paying stocks in the Philippines and we will rank them. We will rank them. I hope that you like, share, and subscribe this video. And especially, mag, ano ka, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when we have new videos, you will be updated na, okay, dumating na yung next video. But I hope, again, the video that we have shown here, 
that it added value to you. That's the heart of stock smart is really whatever fake news na meron dyan, uh, ma-combat natin ng own diligence research natin in the right sources. I hope that this video gave value to you and we are just really excited for you as you learn in your journey and if you want to learn more not just the dividends uh, you can check the links below we have on-demand classes if you want to learn technical analysis where ito yung technical analysis is makikita mo yung mga trends yung mga uh, charts based on sa mga stock prices when you say technical analysis kasi yung masasagot dun, when is the best time to buy or when is the best time to sell. But also, bukod sa technical analysis, we have fundamental analysis. Makikita mo yung valuations ng company, yung price to earnings ratio. Nasasagot yung tanong dito, is this, is this price good? Is it cheap? Is it expensive? In relation to its price, in relation to its price to earnings ratio. And yung maganda dun, it's on demand. It's recorded. You can watch it anytime. You can watch it during your break time, sa gabi, or kung gusto mo, kahit nasa CR ka, pwede, you can learn it. Click the link below. And also, we have books here that you can read. You can click the link. Or you can also add to cart it in Shopee. So again, I hope that you learned something. Put your comments, your questions, or your learnings in a comment below. Or ulitin ko, kung baka may mga stocks na excited ka, type mo. Okay. So, see you. Again, in our next video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you guys. Thank you so much.